Ty and Talit McNeely are known as America's number one money couple. Through their website, His and Her Money, they've shown millions how to properly manage their finances. Never in our wildest dreams would we have seen God take this ministry and just take us to different places. I mean, um, we speak at churches, we have an online presence, we have almost a million downloads on iTunes, over three million views on YouTube. Things weren't always so great for Ty and Talit. As singles, they had radically different spending habits. I never wanted to borrow, and if I did borrow, I wanted to pay that money off right away. I was taught that anytime you borrow money, it is your duty to pay it back. I wanted everything that was just coming out, that was brand new, that had name brands on it, but I ended up in over $30,000 of debt and nothing good to show for it. There was a time where I would literally have to say a little prayer as I put the debit card into the gas pump to get gas in my car, just hoping that it wouldn't be declined. Talit had started to change his habits and was working hard to fix his financial problems. But as they got closer to their wedding day, he ran out of time and had to come clean. And at this point in my life, my behavior changed, but I still had the consequences looming over me. This beautiful woman that I'm about to marry has been debt free her whole life. So how am I going to approach this young lady and say, hey, I don't know what I'm doing all the way with this money thing. And as a matter of fact, I have over $30,000 in debt. Will you marry me? I was devastated. I mean, devastated. I felt like my whole world was crashing right before my eyes. And um, it wasn't necessarily the debt because I knew that we can overcome the debt, but it was that trust. I was truly afraid of what I was going to encounter through the marriage. Ty opted to pray for guidance and felt that she should give Talit another chance. Sometime later, the couple said, I do, and started on the road to financial healing. I started to see that the way I was interacting with money was leading me to a place I didn't want to get to. I was living paycheck to paycheck, stressed out every 27th of the month because I had spent all my money. And so I began to just really learn and not just learn, not just read, but start to implement things that I could. I couldn't do it all and I couldn't do it all at once. And so I slowly over time began to build up good money habits. We were able to get out of debt in our first year as a result of us coming together as a team to tackle this debt. That first year, it still blows my mind away even thinking about it. You know, the amount of money that we were throwing at that debt, you know, and the amount of money that was coming into the household. I was actually in a sales position at the time and I saw God rain on that. He started to bless me to make my numbers and over exceed my numbers. The McNeelys were able to pay off the debt, and they even began to save money. Those savings came in handy when Talit was in graduate school, and a pregnant Ty had to leave work due to an injury. There was a time, a period of months, where neither one of us had income coming in. During this time, we saw God's hand as never before, and we know it's without a shadow of a doubt because we always continue to give. He took that money, and it was almost like he allowed it to stretch. Uh, we had savings that God had been preparing us for. We didn't know what we were being prepared for, but he was preparing us for this moment. And I believe that the biggest reason why none of our bills were ever behind, we didn't face any bankruptcy, we didn't face any repossessions, we didn't go without food, was because at no point did we ever stop giving. God was always our source. He was our sustainer. There was nothing that was going to ever allow me to say, let's stop giving. The couple became so outspoken about God's care in their time of need that people began asking them for financial advice. And we would begin to answer these questions and help people and give them ideas and give them strategies. And we found that, wow, we really like doing this. Like, we really felt the joy of the Lord as we were helping His people become better stewards of their money. That passion led to their ministry, His and Her Money. And through that, books, conferences, and television appearances. Keep in mind that you cannot afford not to give. The number one thing that I feel has made um, the biggest impact in my finances today was giving.